Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jack Wood and I just like to make stuff and I enjoy boating. Today I will show you guys how to drive a boat. So to start off when boating or sailing, there are a few terminologies that are pretty good to know. In the back of the boat, this is called the stern or the transom. It's just the back. Moving forward, this, this could be called your midship on larger boats. It, it would just generally be the center of the boat or the middle of the boat, but this is our midship. And then up at the very front, this is your bow. This is your front of the boat. And one last thing to point out is you have your left and right side, but those are called your port and starboard. Uh, your left side is called the port and your right side is called the starboard. An easy way to remember that is uh, left is spelled with four letters as well as port and starboard is spelled with more letters. So you have your port and starboard sides. So there are a ton of other terminologies that are great to know, but those are the most basic that I know and I think everyone should know those as well. Moving on, I'm now going to be talking about your battery, your dash, and your engine trim. So for your battery, a lot of the boats may have them outside the deck, such as right here or somewhere on your dash. But our boat battery is down here, and it's in this little compartment right back here. So everybody's battery will be different, but our battery has two settings. We have one and two because we have two batteries. But what I like to do is for odd days, I like to put the battery on one, and even days, I like to put the battery on two. So today is the 19th, so that's odd, so I'm gonna switch it to one. So now our battery is on. Once your battery is turned on, you can work on the trim of your engine. Usually when people are docked and they are storing their boat, they would put their engine up in a stored position so their prop is out of the water and there's a reduced chance of algae growing on it or seaweed. But if you wanna go boating, you gotta put that down. Usually your trim tab will be on your throttle lever or somewhere on your dash. It's different for every type of boat, but we have a Boston Whaler, so our trim tab is on our throttle. To lower the engine, it's pretty simple. We have a little down button and you just press that to lower your engine. Once your engine is in the water, I recommend turning on any navigation that you have. So we have a Garmin GPS. So I'm gonna quickly turn that on and then we can get the engine started and we can go drive her around. But another thing I'd like to mention about your trim tab and lowering your engine is be cautious about the depth of your water. You really don't want your prop hitting the bottom because that will just cause more problems in the future. So now that your engine is in the water, if you have a dash, it's on now. Now you can turn on your engine. It's kind of like a car, you just simply turn the key and your engine turns on. One thing I'd like to mention is most boats have this red safety cord. This is if you're boating alone, you attach this to yourself, and if you fall overboard, it will pull this out and kill the engine so your boat won't run away without you. When you're about to go boating, I recommend getting familiar with what your dash is and what all these gauges do, just to get a sense of what's going on in the cockpit. Uh, once you got all that figured out, uh, you can start boating. With the throttle, there are a few positions that are good to get familiar with just to get a feel of your boat. If your throttle is in the upright position or it's going straight up, it's in its uh, neutral state. So your boat is neutral and it won't be going anywhere, it'll just float with the current. If you push it forward and it locks into place, you're gonna be going forward. This isn't as fast as you can go, it's kinda like a slow crawl forward. Same goes for reverse. You're gonna be going in reverse but very slow and if you want, you can always increase the power. We're gonna put her into drive and we're gonna slowly start to add more and more throttle, which you will start to go faster and faster pretty much. Another thing I'd like to mention is the faster you will go, your pitch will be steeper and steeper until you reach a point where you're not gonna go any faster and you'll start to plane out. Right here, I'm slowly increasing the power by pushing the throttle forward. You can see that the speed is also increasing. It is a little hard to tell, but the boat is at a pretty steep angle, but over time, it starts to level out. I'm just driving her around right now, but I have a little more information to tell you guys. Here's a quick recap. First, you need to locate and turn on your battery. When that is on, you're now able to power on any navigation system or devices that require electricity. Once that's good, you can lower your engine to the depth of your choice. Like I stated before, make sure to check the water depth. After you have powered on everything and your engine is in the water, you can start your engine and get it running. One last thing is that larger boats, like this one, are pretty similar to driving a car. If you want to go left, you just turn left, and if you want to go right, you turn right. 
I'm bringing this up because it's different with sailboats that have a tiller like my sailboat. When mine is finished, I'll make a video about how to use and sail it. Of course, as you're boating, it's also great to know boater's etiquette and the rule of who has right of way. I'm not going to talk about that. There should be a ton of other videos on YouTube regarding that, but it's always good to check those out. I also always highly recommend to have life jackets on board just in case anything happens. And if anything bad does happen, you also have your emergency channels, which are 9 and 16 for the state of Washington. They may be different for your state, but I would recommend knowing what those are just in case. Big thanks to my brother Mark because he helped me film this video. So if you guys have any questions regarding boating, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to respond to all of them. Thanks for watching. Here are some more clips of us driving the boat around. This is the end of the video, but here are some bloopers of Mark and I trying to get the thumbnail. Hey, drop that, don't, 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 hey. I hope you're gonna listen to this audio, Jack. I really do. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jack's assistant. Oh, here he comes. That's perfect.